Oh, hello there. The deathly pale snickering cat by the door will let you know that I'm Nick. I'm from an orange beating heart of a place called Organizer Mains. My corruption is the slide down the world of a dark mountainous slopes covered in prickly caterpillars of electronic gaming. Today's game is a sick game that only a walrus stabbing its heart with its own tusk would understand. Okay, don't leave. I'm not doing the whole review like this. This just gives you an idea of what the story is like in Alice. It's told in a very poetic way using such things as adjectives and quite possibly adverbs. In Alice you play as Alice, go figure, and you're trying to remember your past and doing your darndest to save Wonderland. I'll take questions from the audience now. Is this like that movie, you know, Alice in Wonderland, or that other movie with that guy from that pirate movie? Orlando Bloom? No. Does Alice wear different dresses during the game? Yes, very. Alright, that's enough questions. Let's talk about these controls. They work, but do they work great? Yeah, I felt the controls actually worked pretty well. At first, timing Alice's jumps can be a hassle, but once you get that down, you're most excellent. There was a lot Alice could do. She could triple jump, use an assortment of cool weapons, and use a shrinking ability to fit into small places and uncover invisible platforms. Heh, <laughs> platforms. There's something you're gonna see a lot. By that, I mean most of the game you're jumping from platform to platform. Okay, I lied. You jump to some platforms and then you fight a group of enemies. Usually I would complain about this, but Alice actually did the platforming right enough to enjoy it. It only started feeling stale around the fourth chapter of the game. The game is pretty long, and I don't know an exact time frame, but I think it took me 8 hours to get to the fourth chapter. The game does try to put some makeup on by throwing some slides and 2D versions of the game in there. The slides are very lame. There's nothing fun about it, but the 2D platform levels are the worst. You just want it to be over with. The controls aren't the best when it comes to this, and I just found myself wanting it to end. These parts of the game don't show up that often, though. The last thing to talk about is the graphics. Ooh, this game looks artistic. Oh yeah, it is. Look at these playing cards. I found the graphics to be a little hyped up. While they're nothing amazing, they are cool to look at. It has that creepy and gothic feel to it for the most part. Final say. That Alice needs therapy. Good controls. That Alice needs therapy. Platforms of plenty. That Alice needs therapy. Check out this game. What does it mean? Find it on sale. Or you'll be crazy in the coconut. What does it mean? $20 to $30 is a good price. This is Nick from OrganizerMains.com.